All right, guys, welcome back to another Fallout 4 Top 5. This one's going to be Top 5 Companions. So I'm going to start with my Top 5 Companions. A lot of you guys are going to disagree with me, but this is just what I think. So at the number 5 spot, we have Codsworth. The reason I picked him is because him and your character, they know each other. They've known each other since before the war, so there's a lot of different audio between him and your character. I'm not really going to take him with me. Well, yeah, sure, why not? Just for 5 seconds. So he says, can I accompany you, mom? Because I guess you're like his mom. Um, come with me, why not? Hey, Codsworth. Sure you're up for this? Is Piper... I, f I feel bad getting rid of Piper because I love Piper. She's like my favorite companion. Um, send Piper to Sanctuary Hills. Well, she's already here, so. <laughs> she's going there, but she's here. Oh, gosh, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. So, now we have Codsworth with us. This is his dialogue. That lets me talk to him. Hey. Talk. He gives you purified water. Is that all he does? Heads up. Something, you need. Something you need. What's your thoughts? Your thoughts? I've decided to sell the vacuum. It's just collecting dust. <laughs> relationship? What do you think about our relationship? Never better. And Never better. I mean, he's a robot, so he doesn't have too much feelings, I guess. But, like I said, they've known each other for a while. Dismiss. It's time for us to part ways. All right, then, Mom. I'll just pop off, then. Head back to the old Joven line. Sanctuary Hills. Yep. All right, so we're going to get Piper back. She is actually going to be the number one spot. Where, where'd she go? Oh, my gosh. Now we get to have fun finding her. All right, so at the fourth spot we have Dog Meat. He's my favorite, uh, one of my favorite companions besides Piper and Nick Valentine. But I like him so much because in the Fallout series, I'm just so used to having a dog that walks with me. So he doesn't have any dialogue or anything, but I like him because he can find you weapons and such, and he also can detect enemies from pretty far away. I did not know this was like a settlement kind of thing here. But anyways, here he is. There he is. Dog meat. Everything okay? Woof. He, he didn't bark. Okay. Let's go. I honestly don't know where Piper went. I sent her a sanctuary. You guys probably saw that in the last clip, but she just kind of disappeared. So I'm going to take dog meat with me for a while. Let's go, buddy. He should actually bark now that I haven't fallen. Why are you walking away? Heads up. No, I don't want to do that. How you doing, Pop. buddy? Tricks? Hey boy. You know any tricks? <laughs> he didn't really. Oh, it's cute. All right, so next clip will be number three. So at number three, we have Nick Valentine. You're going to find him here at Diamond City, and you're going to do a quest for him. You're going to help him, or he's going to help you find uh, the person who has Sean. Here's Piper's kind of sister, Nat. But he's down here. Let's go this way. I believe this place is called, like, Valentine Detectives. It's just, or maybe it's just a detective. He should be right here. There, even when you complete the quest and you're not doing like following him or having him follow you, he does have small things that you can help him with. Um, this is his uh, assistant, Ellie Perkins. I guess they're also kind of like lovers. I think he loves her. I don't know if she really loves him, but she does worry about him. So, him anyway. Time to hit the road. Yeah, let's hit the road. Up traveling? Alright, let's head out. He actually has a lot of interesting dialogue. Oh, I'm sorry, dog meat. It's all right, boy. I'll take it from here. Let's send dog meat to Sanctuary Hills. I like sending all my people to Sanctuary Hills. Can I not send him to Sanctuary Hills? Oh, there it is. Alright, so let's go, Nick. So Nick's dialogue is kind of uh, weird at sometimes. Talk. When he, like, if you go to the Brotherhood, he has very unique dialogue, like, he'll, they'll say something about him since he's a synth, he'll say something back. It's always cracking jokes and such. 
Look alive. Do something for you? Does he take his gun out? Yeah, he does. Inspect Ellie Perkins. <laughs> oh, okay. So, let's go... I Honestly, I never explored upstairs, so I want to check this out. Oh, there's, there's nothing up there but a bed. There's an ammo box sitting here. Gamma round, plasma charge, shotgun shot. I've not, like, I've never knew that. So let's go to the number two spot. So our second companion is going to be Hancock. You're going to find him here in Good Neighbor. There's a few things you got to do to earn his trust, but I've already done that. You guys can look that up on different YouTube videos. But this is my second favorite place in the Commonwealth as well, Good Neighbor. So you're going to find him upstairs in this building right here, Old State House. He's actually the leader of Good Neighbor, but he's going to end up telling you he wants to get out of Good Neighbor. He wants to do something. He's been the mayor too long. So that's when you get the option to take him as a companion. And I don't know too much about his dialogue. I know he really likes people who are like, they're nice and stuff. He doesn't like people who are douchebags, per se. I don't really know what the word, to, like, uh, I'm trying to think of the word. I don't know what it is, so we're going to skip that. So he's over here. He should be anyway. He's right here. There he is. It's hard to find sometimes. Hancock. Hey, Hancock. I think he has a drug addiction. I don't know. I know he loves when you do stem packs. Hey. Something up? He. What's the word? Something up? Hancock. Hey. What's the word? I'm listening. Go ahead. He's broke for me. Bethesda, come on, man. He did this with Serana. Oh. M G. Nick, sit down. <clears throat> we didn't get to the top of this town by pulling the trigger. Hey, Hancock. Something up? All right, guys. All right, we're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait a while because it seems to me as he's broken in right now. I don't remember. Oh, maybe I made him mad. Maybe I did the quest wrong. Maybe I did what he didn't want me to do. I need to sleep. The only thing I don't like about Fallout is you can't, like, wait like you can in Skyrim. You actually have to sleep somewhere. There's no beds around here. Man, you gotta be joking. Alright, so I will show him to you guys once I get him working again. So anyways, I can't get Hancock to work. I don't know why. I don't know, like... It's confused me. I've took the Silver Shroud uniform off because I maybe thought he wouldn't talk to me because I'm the Silver Shroud and I didn't save Kent Murphy and it might remind him of it. But I take it off. It doesn't do anything. So maybe since I didn't save Kent, he won't talk to me. Or maybe because I didn't take him as my companion the first time. But he is number two on the list. He has unique dialogue. He's really cool. And a lot of people enjoy him. Actually, I think he's probably one of the more used companions. So on to number one. Alright, so at number one, we have Piper, my favorite companion, just like in Skyrim, my favorite companion is Serana. She has a lot of dialogue, and you actually meet her at Diamond City. She, You actually need her, actually, to get into Diamond City. But she has a lot of dialogue, and you get to learn about the character, you get to know her as you go on. And I have her set up with uh, Kellogg's uh, armor and her weapon. And his weapon, I mean. So, travel with me? I think I also have my romance on her all the way up, so I can actually like marry her, be in a relationship with her if I want. But I'm not gonna do that because my character's female. Sure, let's go. Will do. Traveling with Piper is not for the faint of heart. Shut up, Nick. Nick, you always know just what to say. <laughs> I'm gonna send Nick back to Diamond City. Can I not send him to Diamond City? Cause I feel bad because that's like where his girlfriend is. Alright, so we'll just keep them at Sanctuary Hills. Now I'm going to show you guys all these people in action. And also I want to show you more dialogue for Piper. Talk. Hey Piper. She gives you gumdrops. That's usually what she gives you. I don't I think sometimes she does give you purified water like Codsworth. Hey, what you got? What can I do? Thoughts? There's a story here, we'll find it. Yeah, she's a news person, so relationship. Everything okay between us? Doubt I've ever been this good, Blue. You and I are making a real difference. Pretty much all I've ever wanted. Yeah, that's why she's like my favorite character. Right. 
Alright, on to the next part. Alright, so this is Piper in action versus a Merlurk. I'm gonna let her do most of the damage. So this is Piper versus Mirelurk. Now keep in mind, I gave her a different weapon. It's actually a very nice weapon. I don't remember what it is exactly. It's a 10 millimeter though. How's she doing? She's doing pretty good. So that's not bad. That's her in action. Also her versus a Mr. Gutsy. I think I'm just going to show her. A lot of you guys have probably seen this, but I've actually never found a Mr. Gutsy, I don't think. So. Oh my gosh, this gun is... This is the new gun I got from the mod. This is a modded gun. You guys don't actually get this in Fallout. I keep pressing square to reload because I think it's a Skyrim. Man, this thing's pretty OP. Mosquito. My aim is terrible. Man, he's got 50. Dang, he's got a lot of stuff. Alright guys, so this is Nick Valentine in action. Um, where did this raid go? There she is. Oh, these are forged. Oh, jeez. Jeez. What are you doing back here, Nick? Okay, Nick's probably not as good as Piper for me. Because I don't give him weapons. And the person with the flamethrower is killing me here. Oh, I died. Thanks, Nick. Alright, guys, so this is Codsworth against Raiders. And he, oh my gosh, he's really OP. Okay, so you guys saw, he just, like, one-hitted both of them, so, I don't know. That's Codsworth against some Raiders. Last one's gonna be dog meat since I can't show you Hancock. Alright, so this is about to be dog meat versus another dog. Sorry, it's kind of dark here. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Wild mongrel. Dog meat, get him! Ah! Oh, get him! I want to see how much damage dog meat does. Oh, he does quite a bit, actually. Face off. Why are you running? It's running. And they aren't really fighting. Looks like they're playing with each other. Oh, there we go. I ended that so easy. But anyways, that's all of them. I'll see you guys next video. If you like this, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. And thank you. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand.